Okay, let's go take a look at the iOS location demo. So here we have a switch component. When we click on it, it will set the location sensor uh, to active or inactive, depending on if we turn the switch on or off. The location sensor component is down here. It has an event on location changed. So when we get location data, we get latitude and longitude. We put that into uh, the two labels, and we also open a web browser and navigate to a URL. The URL is maps.google.com and then we put in the latitude and longitude as listed here. We also have trigger distance that we can set in the number box. Accuracy, the same thing. Here are the uh, latitude and longitude labels and here is our T web browser. So when we run this application on my device, this is what we'll see. So we turn on the location sensor of course, it's now going to ask if it's okay for this application to use your current location. Hit OK. We immediately start getting location updates. It takes a while for the Google map to load, but we can see here that we are very close to the Embarcadero uh, Technologies building.